In this video, we're going to take a look at conditional test execution with uh, JUnit. And there's actually quite a toolbox that we, we have here. I've got the JUnit documentation up so we can quickly look through it. Then we'll get into demonstrating some of these options here. So you have a variety of annotations there. You can see down here in 3.71, we have enabled on OS. And then you can pass in Mac. Uh, pretty obvious what that's going to do. That will enable the test on that specific operating system. And then we can also do Java runtime environment conditions. So we can enable tests for specific JREs, whether it's Java 8 or Java 11 is out now. And then we can also do system properties, environment variables. And then also there's script-based conditions. I'm not going to demonstrate this. This is a, a pretty specific thing. But you can see here in the documentation, we have a number of things that we can do. We can do scripts in JavaScript or Groovy and others to set up different conditions. So you can really narrow down whether or not the tests run in specific conditions. So really robust tool set here, almost to the point where I think the JUnit team might have overthought the uh, functionality here, but it, it is pretty robust. So let's, uh, I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ and we'll take a look at some of these properties. So I've come in and I set up some tests here for uh, test on OS X or Mac OS, uh, Windows, Java 8, Java 11, if the user is me or somebody else. So the first thing that we can do here is, actually, let me run everything. We'll get the run dialog up first. And we can see that all these conditions are actually running now. So let's go in and annotate this test me on OS X and say, enabled on OS. And you can see that there's a, a num there. So we're going to do uh, on Mac. And actually, let's take a quick look on that. So you can see that we have uh, AIX, Linux, Mac, even Solaris. I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, Windows. So all the, the major operating systems there are listed. So you have a, a lot of uh, control over that. So, so this is just an enumeration that we are going to pass into the annotation. And let's get this one set up as well. And I'm going to enable that one on Windows. So if you check this out at GitHub and run this, you're going to see different results depending on what operating system you're running on. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now and uh, run the test. And you can see that the test me on OS, Mac OS ran, but test me on Windows did not run. You can see how that was ignored. And then we can also do similar things here for the Java 8. Enable on J JRE, and we say Java 8. Java 11, so let's go ahead and run those. We see those run differently. And now we, we can see there that I am running on Java, Java 11. That ran happily, and Java 8 was ignored. So that, that's how these annotations are, are working. Now, a real handy one is the environment one so you can pick up environment variables and let's toggle over to the command line here and i'm running on os x and i can do echo dollar sign user and you can see that my username is jt so i can come in here and write a test for that and enable if environment variable say named and we can say matches. And now I can do the same thing here. And this is just an example that every OSX instance is going to have a user environment variable. Not sure about Windows. It's been a while since I've done anything on, on Windows. And as far as programming, I've been on OSX for quite some time. So I haven't looked at the standard environment variables in Windows for a long time. But in, in this case here, I'm setting up enable test. If user is JT, so I'm going to be looking for user matches JT, and then if user Fred, so if anybody's named Fred out there checks this out with a username lowercase Fred, that will run. So let's go ahead and take a look at this executing, and we'll see that JT runs, and then Fred did not run. So we can see how that's working. So this enabled on or enabled if, there's a lot of, lot of capability here. 
the environment variable, I did use that for assumptions, so you'll get similar functionality. The environment variable probably is going to be the one that you're going to get the most use out of, but I want to make you aware of the operating system ones as well as the JRE one. So you'll find edge cases where you do have to write conditional tests like that. So being able to bring up tests on specific conditions, so there's a lot of flexibility here. So the JUnit team has done a great job of adding all this capability into this.